Hi there, this is Catman72 making this clip in Ramat Gan, which is a small town near Tel Aviv. And this is my living room, it's about 19 by 12 feet, and somewhere around here I've hidden my uh, little glass studio. I think the uh, controller and the uh, oxygen tank gives it away. It might look a bit like a mess at first, but uh, keep in mind that the lighting and the uh, camera doesn't do it much favor. It's uh, much more comprehensible and uh, very, very easy to use, as I hope you'll see in a moment. So there it is, used to be an uh, extra doorway to the uh, next room and uh, now it's enclosed with some uh, wood construction and some sheet metal to make it fireproof and um, we'll start with the torch uh, thanks to Crazy for Glass I'm using a national uh, R8 8M combo um, by uh, National and um, I used to have a Nautil Minor and then a National 6B and uh, now this little dragon here and I use the uh, SM21 port head on the lower torch and a custom made internal mix head which is made here locally by the glass artist Alex Arbel it's a very quiet head for an internal mix just a small hiss the ventilation is uh, much stronger than uh, the noise that this head makes and working with it feels like it's uh, two times the strength of a uh, regular Nautil Minor I made a uh, V-notch out of brass, it was made of a uh, cymbal from an old drum set, it was all crooked so I took it for material. Um, it's painted black here with the heat resistant paint which is totally unnecessary. Just like uh, almost everything here on this uh, table and walls, the torch uh, base is attached to the uh, surface using magnets. I use uh, strong rare earth magnets that I salvage from dead computer hard drives and so it keeps the uh, torch from moving. I find it uh, much better than um, just attaching it to the uh, surface mechanically. Um, it uh, acts as if the torch is, I don't know, three times as heavy as uh, it really is and this is very comfortable. The instructions that came with the uh, torch um, clearly show the larger knobs attached to the lower torch but since most of my work is uh, done on the upper torch I use the larger knobs on the upper one. Um, the larger the knobs the better control I get uh, over the flame. I think this is why the Nortel Minor is so good for beginners because its knobs are I think twice the radius of the National 6B. Okay, now I'll try to explain what I've done here. As right-handed, the way I use this uh, table uh, is that, that right hand is for tools and ponties, and uh, the most useful tools are close to me. Anything that I can uh, hang up uh, or put up standing or hang on magnets on the wall, uh, I try to uh, put up because it saves a lot of room. The walls are covered with the sheet metal, which I painted white. And um, I try to keep the uh, handles of uh, the equipment at uh, different colors. So even when they're at the corner of my eye, I know what I'm reaching for. And uh, naturally, everything that is very useful is much closer and much lower. If anything is um, less used, it goes up and goes further in. Right hand is also used for the uh, controller and the, the gas and oxygen uh, and for putting things away, um, be it uh, into the annealer, the uh, point rack or the scrap beam. Um, right hand also lights uh, the fire and uh, lights the uh, lighting and uh, the ventilation. The left side is used for bringing glass in. Uh, the pre-cut uh, tubing and rods are laying on the table and um, short rods are standing up 
then uh, color stringers and then the color rods which I don't use much often um, for now at least and above these are the longer tubings and uh, rods which uh, when I bring in I have to cut into two so they fit in and uh, left hand also brings me the uh, safety glasses and it also helps me to open the annealer while the right hand puts uh, the piece in it um, as you can see with the uh, cable and pulleys so I don't have to turn off the flame just uh, use right hand to uh, put something a piece, um, a part of a piece on a ponty and the left hand will uh, open and close you can see it's working now it's made out of two uh, hibachi grills um, and uh, lots of fiber and um, I'll close it now because um, it doesn't hold heat that much being made of uh, fiber mostly I put the controller inside an old uh, computer uh, power supply box so I can add a power switch to it and for the uh, lower torch there's the uh, foot switch I improvised from a mechanical gas saver and you can hear the gas Everything here is uh, connected with uh, quick release connections and uh, has uh, fire restores. And uh, later on, I'm planning to use the uh, the same solenoid valves that um, Timia glass has. Thank you, Timia. Uh, there is a graphite marver here and another one behind it, so I can store things while working. These two little stainless uh, saucers I use for uh, little tails and bits that are still useful so they don't pile up uh, on the table and make a dangerous mess. Behind those you'll see a block of wood with holes drilled into it um, used uh, to hold little uh, bits that I use while working and uh, behind this uh, and higher up you'll see this uh, wooden rack that is uh, originally used for plates in the kitchen It's a very cheap uh, way of uh, holding uh, points and uh, oh, there are the switches here, uh, right hand of course, light, and last but not least, ventilation. I do believe you can hear it now. Um, this hole here goes um, into a pipe that vents everything out. Naturally it doesn't sound that strong, just I uh, pushed the camera inside uh, the hood, so uh, it's reasonable, you can work with it, believe me especially if you have uh, music on and I've got the uh, stereo uh, at my right hand so I can uh, turn it on and uh, that's about it